With the Super Bowl just days away, if you are moving to Washington, you may have a very burning question. Does Washington have any professional sports teams? That's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. I'm Sherri Ann Green with Coldwell Banker. Welcome to my YouTube channel that guides home sellers and home buyers in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia. Major League Sports may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Washington, D.C. Politics, the Smithsonian history, that may be what you think of first. But have no fear, if you are moving to Washington, yes, we have professional sports teams, and yes, we have champions, both men's and in women's sports as well. If you are moving to Washington, one of the first things you may want to do is add a little red to your wardrobe. Let's start with hockey, the Washington Capitals. Caps, 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 rock the red. You will hear and see that a lot. The Washington Caps are the 2018 Stanley Cup championship team and they have flooded this city with a lot of red clothing. Their parade down the city when they won the Stanley Cup was something to see and really celebrated by everyone. So Washington Caps rock the red. That's our professional hockey team. Moving over to America's pastime baseball, we have the Washington Nationals. Now, the Nationals used to be, or the Washington team, used to be called the Senators. Then there was about a 33-year span where we didn't have baseball in the nation's capital at all. But in the early 2000s, that all changed when the Montreal Expos moved to Washington and baseball was back in the nation's capital. The Nats sport a lot of red as well, and you'll want to get your natitude on every summer. Nats sport a lot of natitude, and they sported a lot, and they chanted a lot of baby shark, which became their mantra in the 2019 season when the Nats won the World Series. The Nats games are played in a neighborhood called Navy Yard, and a lot of people attribute the building of the Nats Stadium in Navy Yard to the development and the explosion of that fun neighborhood as well. Several of our professional sports teams have not only men's teams, but they have women's teams as well. Basketball, soccer, and football. That's right, women's tackle professional football. Hang on for that. Let's start with basketball. Our NBA team, the Washington Wizards. They haven't won a championship since 1978 when they were called the Washington Bullets. Now, as you can imagine, they needed a name change, and that was done in 1995 by their former owner, Abe Poland. The Wizards play downtown, so it's a fun event to go to. You can be in the city and enjoy a great restaurant and catch a great basketball game. All eyes are on the Wizards to see if they can put together a championship team. Everybody wants it to happen. The women's NBA team, however, are champions, and that's the Washington Mystics. Washington Mystics was one of the first, actually, in the franchise. They have worked very hard to put together a winning team. Their efforts paid off in 2019 when they won their championship. So make sure you check out the Washington Mystics, the women's NBA team in Washington. Moving over to soccer, there's the DC United. Soccer is beloved around the world and that's no different in Washington. We have a really fun team. They have won many, many trophies and they play down at Buzzard Point, which is right next door to Navy Yard. So their sports team and their stadium has contributed to that growth and development of the Navy Yard area as well. Their field is called Audi Field. Our women's soccer team is called the Washington Spirit. They've been very busy this off season recruiting and putting together a new team. And hopefully those efforts are going to pay off with a winning season and a future championship. <laughs> Moving over to the NFL, we have the Washington football team. You may be familiar with their former name, which was the Washington Redskins. They are currently going through a full name and branding change. So for now, they are the Washington football team. The Washington football team plays at FedEx Field in Lanham, Maryland. A little bit of a drive, but you can also take the Metro there as well. 
Stock up on your burgundy and gold no matter what the new name is, the colors will remain the same. Something you may not have known about is there is a professional women's tackle football league and DC has a team. They are appropriately named the DC Divas. That's right, women's tackle football. Isn't that cool? They are a fun team and a championship team as well. They hold the record for the most games played, victories, playoff appearances, and championships. So make sure you check out the DC Divas. Lastly, we have a professional sports team that is co-ed. It is the Washington Castles. They are part of World Team Tennis. Now, if you are familiar with tennis, you may be thinking, mm, okay, no. World Team Tennis is not your clay court tennis. It is not your quiet tennis match. It is fun. It is a little bit rowdy. It has music and cheerleaders and a t-shirt toss. It is a great fun way to spend an afternoon. The Castles have put together a very good team and were one of the first teams in the league of eight teams. Most of the teams all have a little bit of star power and Washington is no exception to that. Who's a member of the Washington Castles? Tennis mega superstar, Venus Williams. The Castles are a very successful team. They have won six championships. So make sure in the summer you check out World Team Tennis, the Washington Castles. No matter your sport, DC has a team for you. And if you are coming here, there's a good chance you've got a team you already love, and that's okay too. We're pretty lenient with people who come to town with their own sports teams. Just try to find some time to cheer for the Washington teams when you're not cheering for your own. If you are moving to Washington, there is a lot you need to know. Watch this video next. It is full of insider tips and tricks about living in our nation's capital. I've got an entire playlist and watching this one is a great first step so that you look like a native very quickly in your new hometown.